A very good morning to all of you. I'm Shashwita from Tesla One, and today I will be presenting the topic of the roles of teachers in the implementation of, cur of curriculum. To provide a thorough knowledge of the integrated primary school curriculum, which is known as KBSR, educators and students must first properly understand its aims and characteristics to fulfill the fundamental education goals. The first one, the first role will be the interpreter. So the objectives are the student should master the, Mal the Malay language with an excellent and effective following its position as the national and official language of the country. To acquire English as a second language, students must master the fundamental abilities to speak, reading and writing. In primary schools, students should learn basic language skills such as oral or spoken communication, reading and writing. The students should master the aspects of counting skills. Students need to master basic learning skills such as managing information, making reports, collecting notes and others based on basic skill. Cultivate noble attitude and behaviors guided by the universal and spiritual values that are accepted and valued by society guided by the tenets of the state. Build the personality of students who are knowledgeable, understanding, interested and sensitive to humans and the environment. Build the character of students who practice pure cultural value in society. Cult cultivate interest in arts and recreational activities within the national culture, thereby being able to understand, participate and enjoy it. Develop the potential of talent, leadership and self-confidence in any beneficial activities undertaken by the students. The second rule will be planner. Teachers as planner. Curriculum planning is the preparation of work plans, which is a program prepared by teachers based on the syllabus for subject to be taught. The purpose of preparing this work plan is, to that, is so that teachers can implement their teaching and learning programs based on the syllabus systematically and according to the appropriate grading. So usually work plans include annual work plans, term work plans, weekly work plans and daily work plans. The work plan should be prepared based on the syllabus, syllabus for the whole year. Important items such as syllabus, reference numbers, objectives and lesson titles should be written in the annual work plan. Semester work plan should be prepared based on annual work plan. When preparing a semester work plan, the following should consider. The term work plan should contain important details such as learning topics, value application skills, as well as teaching and learning strategies. A term teaching plan should be prepared before the semester begins. The work plan should be written concisely but clearly. The last one is the arrangement of lesson units should be based on principles of teaching, namely the grading of students, mental or physical development, existing knowledge and skills that have been mastered, that have been mastered. So usually the, the arrangement of lessons unit in a textbook is a basic consideration when planning the arrangement of lessons unit for a term teaching plan. The third one is weekly plan Weekly work plan should be prepared based on semester work plan. Important, ma important matters such as levels, subjects, topics, skills and applications of value should be recorded in the, work, in the weekly work plan. The last one is daily work plan should be prepared based on weekly work plan, meaning that your daily plan must be based on weekly work plan. So among the things that should be considered when preparing a daily plan are the day, date, level, teaching time, content of the lesson and content of the lesson, teaching and learning activities. Learning content should be selected on what is provided in the weekly working plan, while lesson objective should be determined, should be determined based on the 
skills recorded in the weekly work plan. The last role, which is interpreter. So before teaching, the teacher us, uh, needs to make some preparation. Preparation is very necessary so that teachers can present their ideas and knowledge in an organized, interesting and easiest, easiest way to make the students understand. So the first one is teaching preparation planning for curriculum imp implementation. The second one is components of teaching supplies should cover inventory, general details, past knowledge, skills, objective, merging, teaching and learning resources, application of values, thinking skills, and EMK goes under inventory. Whereas for delivery, it is induction set, progress, learning content, skills, teaching strategies, learning and application of values. For the third one, which is the cover, is the type and method of cover, follow-up activities, evaluation of lesson objectives, formulation, conclusion, and modification. So the third one will be inventory components. Fourth one is selection and grading of lesson content. The following ones are determin determination of teaching steps and time allocation, selection of teaching learning strategies, selection and use of teaching learning resources. And the last one is modifying and evaluating methods. The last part will be the hot question, which is how would you plan your everyday lesson as a potential teacher? Whether will you follow the daily work plan or weekly work plan or term work plan? How do you actually plan it? So that's all from me. Thank you.